Hey folks, good morning. Good to see you on this Tuesday morning. Yeah, happy Tuesday. Hi Betty, good to see you. It is Tuesday morning. Uh, get this, it's September 29th. September 29th. So guess what? That means the next time, I think, hold on, let me look at my calendar just to be sure because I'm pretty sure. But yeah, the next time we do this in the morning, it's going to be October. That's just, that is just absolutely crazy to me how fast this year uh, is just flying by. It is going so, so quick. Um, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm hopping on here really quick so I can share the video. And I would encourage you, if, if you would, oh, there it is, uh, if you would share it, that'd be fantastic. And then, you know, others can, can hop on and see what we're doing and what's going on. But there we go. All right. My goodness. September the 29th. Two more days, today and tomorrow. That's all we have left in September. And then we're into October. The year is just, it's flying by. And then, really, once we hit October, we're just kind of off to the races, aren't we? We're, uh, I mean, we're just moving. We get, we get, uh, we're preparing, you know, for Trunk or Treat and, and, and that big outreach event, uh, which we are going to move forward on having that unless we have somebody come with a with a badge and things like that to shut us down we're going to continue to move forward with that um, we're putting safety measures in place uh, we're, we're going to be practicing social distancing and wearing masks and gloves and and uh, some of you say well why do we have to do that well here's the thing it 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 may help it may not help but perception is reality so we want people to see that we are taking all appropriate steps and measures to keep them safe. And so we're going to do that. Uh, we think it's important. That's one way of loving our community is showing them that we can uh, protect them and, and, and do things the right way uh, and be safe. So I would encourage you. Uh, we're going to start to put out information on Facebook and put our big banner up and signs and this like that. And there are just a few spots left to sign up for Trunk or Treat. Uh, if you're not able to or you don't feel comfortable coming out and helping, that is okay. We completely understand. That's okay. But I would ask you to, to think about maybe would you make a donation of, of candy or uh, a monetary donation uh, to help us purchase supplies, uh, you know, extra candy to give out, hot dogs, uh, things like that. Uh, because we're going to continue to, to do this and love on our community and we think it's important. It's a big, major, major outreach that we do. Um, so, um, if you want to come out, there's just a few spots left. If you haven't signed up, do that. We may be able to, to create and maneuver a couple others, but we're trying to, to spread apart, which is why things are limited, um, and, and, and be safe. Uh, also, if, if you don't feel comfortable or you're not able to, that's okay. Don't fret about that. Don't worry about that. Um, kids had the TV on really loud and early this morning, so... Hey guys, can you turn that down? <laughs> Quite loud. Not yet. Not yet. I'm, I can't hear anything. So, um, so if you're not able to come out, uh, I would encourage if you would to uh, to think about giving a donation, uh, whether it in candy or or a monetary donation. That would be fantastic. So, <clears throat> but very good. It's good to see you guys on here popping on and, and saying hello and good morning. I uh, hope everyone is doing well and off to a great start on this Tuesday morning. Uh, we do. We need to start with a joke, don't we? Uh, and, and here's our joke. Uh, most of you, I don't, think, I don't think hardly any of you have actually met my brother, Brent. Have you? Um, we found, he's only been here once. Yeah, he's only been here once. I don't think he was here over a Sunday. It was just a short little visit. Um, but... Uh, just so you know, uh, if you do ever get a chance to meet him, uh, Brent um, is uh, just so you know he's he's schizophrenic, but that's okay because he's good people. That was terrible. That was not terrible. That was good. That was good. Get it? He's schiz that He's good awful. people. People, mo come on. That was funny. I did get it. I that did was get funny. It. I just didn't he's funny. not, but I he's my little brother, so I can say all kinds of stuff about him, right? Um, <laughs> I thought it was funny. He's schizophrenic, so he's good people. All right. All right. Never mind. Going back to making coffee. <laughs> 
Okay, let's jump into our uh, to our devotional then. If if we can't do the jokes, hmm. Um, let's talk about uh, how we have conversations with others. Um, and man, we need especially we need to be having conversations with people. Um, this this whole pandemic has done a couple of things. Um, it's caused us to be divided. Uh, it's caused us to be separated. It's caused us to be isolated. Well, I think we need to restart uh, some of the ways that we talk and we converse and we uh, we have these real important conversations with other people. And and here's how we're going to kind of start this over the next couple of days. Uh, well, a couple of of uh, devotionals is we're going to talk about how uh, communication conversations are important and vital. The first way we start communication, great communication, uh, great communication always, 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 great communication starts with love. You catch that? Great communication starts with love. Whenever you're going to have great communication with somebody, whether it be a child, a spouse, a friend, an ex, a coworker, a colleague, uh, somebody who's above you, somebody who's below you, whatever, great communication. All right, great communication always, always starts with love. Um, and the way we do that, great communication always starts with looking that person in the eye. That's so important. Looking that person in the eye, eye contact. Uh, here's our scripture for this morning. Frank says, go Miami Marlins. Well... I'm sorry to say, but that's not going to work. <laughs> so uh, here's our scripture for the day. If I could speak all the languages of earth and of angels, I should put that up there. If I could speak all the languages of earth and of angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clinging cymbal. So what we see here, what we see Paul writing and we know 1 Corinthians 13, that's the love chapter, right? Uh, well, it's so much more than that. This is, this is a continuation um, as he's been talking about spiritual gifts and different things like that. Uh, but he said, if I could speak all the languages of earth and of angels and didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Words without love are just noise. I want you to hear that. Words without love are just noise noise right if you don't speak in love it doesn't matter how eloquent you are it doesn't matter how uh, uh, precise your english or your dictation is your pronunciation uh, it doesn't matter about the whole conversation if you don't speak if you speak without love you're a noisy gong or clanging cymbal your words are useless your words you've 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 wasted your breath You've wasted your breath. So we have to ask the question, how do you communicate love in a conversation? Well, we talked about it just a little bit earlier. For one thing, we communicate a lot of love with our eyes. We communicate a ton of love with our eyes. The way we look at somebody. The way we look at somebody. Um, have you ever walked up to talk to somebody and instead of looking at them or looking at you when they talk they've been like this or you know you're you're having a conversation and and you're just out here and you're not making you're not making that eye contact or that other person isn't you pretty much know right off the bat they are not interested in what you have to say uh, they're not listening to you but here's the thing when you walk up and you make eye contact with somebody and that person makes eye contact with you you can tell a lot right there because eyes are, are, are amazing, amazing things. If you ever get a chance, study the science behind the eye and the development of the eye and eyes, uh, there's cells and all, all things. It's, it's really, really amazing. Anyway, when you make eye contact with somebody, have you ever noticed maybe in their eye, hmm, there's not much love or concern or care for me right now. I can see it in their eyes. You ever said that phrase? I can see it in their eyes. It's so important that when we go to talk with others, especially Christians and believers, if we're going to talk to somebody else about their heart or, or their soul or, or 
things like uh, Jesus and salvation or sin or eternity or hell or, or all of these things. It's so, so important to talk with them with love in your eyes. So how do you, how do you do that? How do you do that? Well, I'm guaranteeing that you've, you've had things in your life where you've talked to somebody and you've seen in their eyes they have no concern or care for you at all. At other times, you look at others and say, wow, they really do care about me. Just without saying a word. You can just see it in their eyes, right? Well, that's something that I think that we need to work on. Your eyes are powerful tools, powerful tools for showing love. They're, they're, they're incredible. Use your eyes to give people attention. Don't talk with a conversation like this. You know, it's just, it's, it, it's, it's distracting. It's frustrating. Um, people need to see and know that you genuinely care. And here's the thing. They can't see your face now, right? So these are so important. Your eyes are so, so important. Um, pay attention to people. Pay attention, listen to what they're saying. You don't have to speak a thing. If you just pay attention, look at them in the eyes with love and listen. That's more than half the conversation right there. Because they see, they know that you care. That means when you do get an opportunity to speak and to share, your words have so much more meaning. They aren't just a clinging gong, a gong or a clinging symbol, right? If you don't give them your attention, if you don't give them your attention, you'll never have a productive conversation and you'll never get the step to build stronger relationships. So how do, we, how do we start conversations with love? We look at them in the eye. We use our eyes. We have to be so systematic about that and, and, and persistent in the way that we have conversations. And we look at people with love. I want you to see, Jesus, I want you to see that Jesus modeled this for us. He did. Uh, when a young man came to him one day with a question, here's what uh, the book of Mark, here's what uh, Mark says about this and how Jesus responded. Mark chapter 10, verse 21. Jesus felt genuine love for this man as he looked at him. Jesus felt genuine love for this man as he looked at him. I want to encourage you. Let's begin to look at others with love. Not just listen, not just speak in love, but look at others with love. It'll make a huge difference in the way you communicate. It'll make a huge difference in the way that others might listen to you. It'll make a major difference in the conversations that we have. And folks, we need to be having conversations. We need to be uh, conversing and talking and sharing again. Let's get over this stuff. Uh, you know, uh, yes, the virus is still real. I'm not going to downplay it at all. It's still real. People are dying. It's very sad. But at the same time, we have still have to have conversations, still have to be human. All right? Guys, hope you're having a great Tuesday so far. Uh, hope you have uh, a successful day, uh, whether it be uh, work or or projects at home, or or maybe just resting. Resting is an important thing. So I hope you have a successful day doing whatever that you are doing today. And uh, looking forward to a, a good day. Uh, come back, join us tonight for our hope, prayer, and blessing time. And then uh, we will be together Wednesday for Bible study, uh, Bible study time. And then again, Thursday, which is October. Isn't that crazy? Thursday's October. All right. Looking forward to seeing you all again. Uh, be blessed today and uh, hope you are successful in everything. All right, guys. Uh, remember, as God is blessing you, take that opportunity to be a blessing to others. We'll see you again. Goodbye.